Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We have to fend off some ghosts in the hidden room here, so let's just take care of that before I attempt to get a blue ghost. Uh, which, well, technically these ghosts are blue, but you get the idea. I'm kind of running low on health here because I'm really messing around, or I should say messing up here. Hopefully I'll be able to get some health from the ghosts uh, as I kill them. Well, okay, suck them in. There's no such thing as killing a ghost. Okay. Hey, wait, I just noticed that all these chests are now closed again. Hmm. I wonder if there's like a loophole and you can get more cash from it. But anyway, in the far right chest here, shake it up. There's a blue ghost. Yeah, baby! Woo! There is a load of loot there. And there's my green jewel. Well, I should just call it an emerald. And I might as well suck up the rest of the stuff in this room here. And I really hope I can get this blackout done and over with because I'm kind of low on health here. Oh, maybe I should, uh, as long as I'm here, uh, it's, and it's a dark room and I'm getting low on health, I should try and demonstrate that uh, thing where Luigi calls for Mario again. Mario? Uh, Mario! That was it! Mario! Well, you know, when Luigi's... Mario! The lower your health is, basically... Mario! The more desperate Luigi's screams for Mario are, basically. And that can be kind of humorous. Anyway, let's get back up. Get out of here. And run! Go, 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 Ow! Open door. Open sesame. Thank you. They, I said, thank the... What the heck was that? Don't do that. Don't scare me like that. Stop that. Okay. <laughs> um, the next place we want to go to is the nursery over at Chauncey's room. Um... Now there's a blue ghost in his crib, because there's no Chauncey there, so a blue ghost decided to uh, take over his crib and have a nice, delightful nap. So we're going to go over there and wake him up from his sleep, and avoid the ghost in this hallway. Of course, as much as you possibly can. Um, wait, wait, I passed the door, my bad. There we go. Any ghost in here? Of course there is. No, 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 I don't think so. You know what, I'm going to use a little bit of fire here, just because I have it, and it'll t give them a little bit of damage. Eh. And that was a little bit helpful, because I got kind of cornered there. And the other one should be dead, because I uh, took them down to zero with the fire. You can, as I said, use your elements to uh, take, give the ghost damage. Oh, hearts! I could really use that. And this should give me a heart as well. This little heart-shaped nightstand, night table there. And there we go. That's much better. And I think that's it for this room. I hope I'm gonna point my flashlight upwards. And there we go. Give me. And there is the next blue ghost. And I believe that is the last blackout ghost as well. And that's the last thing we can do in this blackout before the game progresses a little bit more. Um, so let's just go meet up with Uncle Grimly and uh, get this game going. You know, n no more sidetracking, so to speak. Well, I, should, I shouldn't even call it sidetracking, actually, or being sidetracked, because uh, in order to get the A rank, you want you want to try and get as much of this place as, loot as you possibly can. Come on, get scared, there you go. Because... As I said before, you need a hundred million to do it, so... You want... I forgot to stun those ghosts like I taught you guys how to do in the last part. So you want as much loot as you possibly can. There's Uncle Grimly there. Um, basically, turn off your flashlight. Wait for him to do something here. Do something, please. There we go. He does this little ooh, scary thingy and tries to scare you, I guess. And when he does that, he exposes his heart, and there you go. And that's really all there is to Uncle Grimly here, and he's pretty weak, as you can see. And I'm small Luigi. Must get pearls. Yay! Wait, listen. Yeah, he's like Chipmunk Luigi now. And this will give you the key to the breaker room, and what you want to do after this is immediately go to the breaker room. Because that will, uh end this blackout area, as well as the dangers within it. The blackout is probably the most dangerous thing in the entire game, just because you're just constantly bombarded by things. There we go. There we go. Oh, shoot. Go away, freaking poopers. Scoopers, stop that. There we go. <laughs> and 
wider rooms like that, as, as I said, if you scare away the ghosts, you won't, well, you usually won't take damage if you scare away the ghosts right away. Um, but if you get cornered, I guess an element is a good idea to use if you have one. Okay, so, now to the breaker room, which is the, the key, I should say the, the door that that key unlocked, excuse me. So during this blackout, a, someone decided to lock the breaker room, which was a bad idea. Uh, otherwise, this room, this room is pretty open, and there we go. And there's the switch I need to press. Well, not press, it's more of a lever, and you... Whoop, like that. And that clears the room and gives you a treasure chest. This should give me a key to another room on the third floor, which I'm probably gonna end up just cutting to because I I, I really don't. Oh wait wait, it's just down the hall. Never mind. Um, the the um, fourth area of the game is kind of annoying in the way that um, you have to keep switching between floors, like the between the third floor and the um third floor in the basement and that that's a get that gets really tiring after a while because of the fact that it takes such a long time to go from floor to floor and there's no way i'm gonna get that boo before he disappears through that wall which i can't really get to right away um now this is the cellar i'm going there's a bunch of dust no 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 no, no, no. i don't think so i'm going to suck you up there we go um, there's a bunch of dust on the floor here. I don't know what the heck this is. Maybe it's like fireplace ashes dumping down here or something. But, um, you have to kind of clear out these ashes like this. There's a blue ghost in this room, by the way. Uh, but I just want to demonstrate to you how to get rid of these ashes. Just point your vacuum to the floor and... I don't want to. I don't want to clear the room just yet. Um, I think I made a mistake there by, by letting him free. There we go, gimme! Yes! Gotcha! Gotta catch them all! And get some loot! So that takes care of that. And gotta wait for that pinky guy. There we go. You're going down! Easily, might I add. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't get that ghost there because I would have cleared the room. There's another boo in this room, which I very likely am not going to be able to get. This key is gonna lead to a room on the third floor, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Now I have to go all the way back to the third floor to get to the clockwork room up there. Ugh, that's so annoying. Um, so keep in mind that that boo I lost, I can't get right now, because the door that, uh, is over, over to the left there is, well, wait, I actually could get that boo right now, couldn't I? Oh, uh, no, the boo ran away. It would have been in this hallway, but, uh, there's nothing I can do about that right now. So let's just find another boo in this room as long as it's cleared and and get its HP down a little bit. Did this work? There we go! It's boo repeats. I don't quite get that one as well. I know they reference like characters and stuff like that in history or just famous people in general for those boos. But some people I just don't know. But then again, I'm, I'm not the kind of person that follows that kind of thing. So that's probably why. But okay, let's give him another try because I can. And come on, come on, come on, get in my vacuum, dang it! I'm gonna try and scare him back into the room by uh, getting him to move automatically. No! You weren't supposed to do that! <sighs> well, I can't do anything about him now. Um, now, there, there, it's detecting another boo somewhere around here. Um, it's probably a bomb or a ball. I'm just gonna make sure, like, maybe... Yeah, that's a ball. Yeah, this room is clear of boos now. Okay, so let's try this room again. See if the boo went back in this room. No, it didn't! So it literally went back... So it literally... Literally, excuse me, went into one of those other two gray rooms off to the left there. Uh, I should say both of them are going to be. So keep that in mind for future episodes. And let's just go up to the third floor. Now, this is what I mean. Now I'm going to end up going to the third floor. Now after I do that, then they're going to redirect me back to the uh, basement eventually. And vice versa, back and forth, over and over and over again. So that's kind of a drag in a way. But it's it's a part of the game. But the thing is, is that there's really, there's really nothing that makes it interesting along the way. I mean... 
there, as, as you can see, all these rooms are cleared, so there's no ghosts, and I cleared all, all the pocket change in the areas, so there's nothing really to search for along the way. Um, there's gonna be ghosts in these upper areas, of course, because these rooms still aren't cleared, and they won't be cleared for the rest of the game. I should say the hallways won't be. But still, it's just... I, I kind of wish that they would have coordinated that better, so to speak. Like, you know, did one floor at a time, and then had you go up to the, uh, the third floor, but it, it just kind of like... It artificially extends the length of the area, so to speak. Okay, so now I'm back to the third floor, and you've seen how much effort... Well, I shouldn't say effort, how much time it takes you to get back up here. So from now on, if I have to keep going back and forth, I'm just going to cut forward. Anyway, this door is now unlocked, thanks to the key, and these are the Clockwork Soldiers. These are required ghosts. Um, when, whenever you want to get those guys started, um, just shake all the clocks in this room, and then they'll all start coming after you at once. There's three of them. Um, the blue one in the center is the one that holds all the pearls. I know this... Come on. There we go. Oh, it's just got to hurt. Um, so you want to get rid of the green one and the pink one first, uh, if you can. I'll show you their weakness as I go along. It, it's basically just involves the vacuum and not the flashlight at all. Um, I guess I cleared out the room, so let's get all these clocks started. And wait, did I get that? Did I get the other clock over there? I don't think I got this clock going. Or did I only have to get one of them? Or did I? I mean, did I only have to shake the table once? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. And, oh, there we go. Okay, start sucking their little wind-up key there. And immediately, you'll latch on to them after the key pops off them. And that's their weakness there. And eventually, they're gonna come off me, or they're gonna let, make, force you to let go there. And I don't want to grab the blue guy, because as I said, he's got all the pearls, so I want to get out. I want to get him last. And they got some guns there, so be very careful of that. Get the green guy. Ugh. And the problem with these guys is that they, like, group up like that, and then... They, they, they all get in the way of each other. Well, I should say they get in the way of you. And come on, get in the corner so I can get you safely. And you have to get all three of them, obviously. There we go. I just seen that I got some pocket change from shaking these doors here. And these clocks, which I probably should have did earlier before I attempted getting these guys. But, ah, oh, oh, my fault. But anyway, there's no blue ghost in here, so you don't really have to worry about that. And, uh, come on. Well, cut th there we go. Why, why didn't that work? <laughs> I must have been pulling back at the wrong angle or something like that. Anyway, you go away, and I want pink guy. There we go. I want your key. Give me your body. Ugh. Or ectoplasm. You really don't have a body, do you? You're just kind of like ectoplasm in the shape of a human or something. Oh, that was unfortunate. And I'm taking quite a lot of damage from these guys, which is kind of unexpected, actually. I really like to just scare the blue guy away temporarily so I can get the pink guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got the blue guy. Didn't want to didn't want to do that, but I can scare him away by just letting letting him go like that. And come on, pink guy. Into my vacuum. There we go. Now I can go after the blue guy. And now it's a lot simpler now that there's only one. Now I can also attempt to get his pearls. Uh, hopefully he won't knock me off. And he did. Dang it. These guys do have a pretty strong pull. I mean, it's it's late in the game, so it's what you would expect. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And it's much, much easier to avoid their guns as well, their little cork pop gun things, because you aren't trying to dodge the rest of them at the same time. And that clears the room. Now, over inside this house here is actually an elevator, which will take you up to the roof. Um, what? Can I open this? Of these things. Can I shake these lanterns? Well, I can, but they don't seem to have anything. Uh, okay, there's a boo in here somewhere, and I intend on getting him. Wait, I'm close, I'm close. Is this a boo? That's a bomb. Dang it. Must get boo. Must get pocket change. Where is he? <laughs> uh, I was already, I was out here on that side of the room, excuse me. This, they want me to shake this table again. Come on, man. And six o'clock booze. Six o'clock Is that an alcohol reference? 
Hey, this kid, I mean, this game is not kid friendly now. Oh, come on, man. I, I had high hopes for this game being kid friendly, because I've never played one of these on my channel. But, oh, that's just terrible. Okay, let's try and get him again in this room. And, strangely, even though this room is still dark, uh, oh, um, you can get the boo in here. I don't know why he appears in there, even though the room is still dark, but that's just something to note there. And you are going to get inside my vacuum, whether you like it or not. Come on. Come on. Get in. No, no, don't go that way. Don't go. Dang it! Oh, wait, wait. Are you, wait, you stayed in the room? I never seen you. I never seen you do that before. Well, uh, okay. Let's just uh, go back and get him in the hallway then, or try and try and redirect him into that room if I can, and hurry it up before he disappears again. Oh, I, I should also try and clear the telephone room right away. I see you there. Okay, I'm gonna try and get you to go in that other room. There we go. And now I'm going to go through this way and back into that room. And by the way, some of those doors are fake. Just thought I would mention that. So that's why I'm only going in specific doors here. And hello there. Only 27 HP. That means you're mine this time, you sucker. Woo! Yay! And I think before this part ends, I'm going to clear out the telephone room. And why did... Oh, I must have clicked through it too quickly. I was going to say, why did he call for Mario? And I believe there's ghosts in this chest. And yeah, oh, it's just a skeleton. Skeletons are not that bad. In fact, they're quite easy. I think he's the only guy guy that you need to beat in order... Oh, I guess you need to do more than that to clear this room. Let's try this chest. Nothing? Okay. I just want to make sure this room is cleared out, you know, before I go on ahead. Eh? There's a heart. I can use that. Come on. What's underneath? Mysterious table lump. Eh? See, it just, it, just, it acts like it's a ghost, but it's actually not. I mean, you would think it would reveal itself as a ghost, but, you know, it's not like a normal ghost or something. It's, it's weird. That's all I can say about that. Um, I thought I could clear this room, honestly. Oh, wait, there's another chest here. I didn't see. Dang it. <laughs> that was my bad. Okay, let's wait for the skeleton to reappear here. I just want him to be, like, like right behind me, if he can. Somewhere, somewhere that's open, you know, so I can get a good shot at getting him in one shot. Uh, oh, you're just gonna reappear there, huh? Ah, that works for me. This is our open enough area. Yay! The room is clear, and this should give me some pocket change. Woo! There we go, and there's a boo in this room as well, which I'll, which I guess I'll get before this part ends, or I should say before I end this part. I hate, I hate, like, leaving stuff to other parts, so to speak, like... Like, having to split up certain areas. That's kind of like why some of these parts have gotten kind of long in a way. But I'm sure you're not complaining. And it's boomerang! That's a good pun that I do understand. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, poopers. Okay, I'm going to try and get him to get go back in this room. Oh, in case you didn't realize, these boos... No! I can't get in there yet. Well, I guess that'll end this part then. As I was saying about those boo, uh, the boos are getting up to have a lot more HP than they used to have. Anyway, oh, this thing is flashing again, but I don't believe there's another boo in this room. So, uh, I guess that's about it for this part. I'm gonna check over this room real quick just to make sure there isn't a boo in here. I don't believe there is. What the heck? Can I shake this? Uh, do I really have to pull off this tablecloth to do it? Yes, I do, and it's just a ball, just as, as expected. Or, or, or I was expecting a bomb. Okay, enough talking. That's all for this part, and I'll see you in the next one, where we go off to the basement that that... What? What? Who? I thought... Wait a second? Uh... Wait, what? Oh, 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 I remember, I remember. Excuse me, I forgot, I totally forgot about the clockwork room. Okay, in the next part, I'm going to take the elevator in this clockwork room, which is in this door, up to the roof, and I'll see you then.